Good day, human Latios Lights. This is Latios Zubra, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red Omega Latizulwok. Here we are in Viridian City, right outside the gym, and it looks like the gym leader has returned. So, by all logic, we're not gonna be taking on the gym leader today. Sorry, I know we've been just chugging through Kanto, but let's just let's just take a step back and do something a little bit different. Now, as you saw, I did a lot of grinding last time. Well, since last time, should I say. This time. So, everyone on the team right now is at an e equal level 56. So, this way, there's not going to be any discrimination on our team as to who gets the battle and who doesn't. Laura, I'm looking at you. Laura is now at level 56 as well as, well as everyone else. In fact, she, I think, was the first one on our team to get to level 56, which is kind of funny. And she has Leaf Blade now, which is... and Petal Dance, which are pretty good moves to have. Okay, so... We have... Also, we have Grim, who I eventually gave in and got rid of Fire Punch to learn Strength. Because I couldn't train Grim without a move with more than... like, two power points. So, yeah. Other than that... Let's go looking for some legendary Pokemon. Oh yeah. Now, last time we actually somehow found Suicune. I'll never be able to explain how that happened by chance. I mean, obviously it wasn't a random encounter, it was, it was a stationary legendary in this game. But the fact that we just randomly found it was kind of odd. That said, let's go use a repel. I also bought a bunch of fresh waters because I used up most of mine during the grinding montage. So we have enough fresh water that should probably last us a while. So for now, let's just get through Diglett's Cave. Because we're going to head back to the Sevi Islands. Because, well, somewhere around there we're going to find a particular Pokemon that is in Mount Ember. So we're going to have some traveling, I guess, to do. But that said, let's just do that. So, here we are in Vermilion City. Let's go take the... Alright, the Sea Gallop Ferry to one island. Alright, so here we are back at one island. It's been a while, but that's fine. Alright, also I think we get some encounters. So, here we are at Kindle Road. So, propeller off. So our Kindle Road encounter is going to be... A Skitty! Interesting. Interesting indeed. You know, I'm going to try to catch this thing because I actually don't mind Skitty. It's not very good um, to battle-wise, but it's a, it's a pretty interesting Pokémon. Skitty is going to be added to the Pokedex and give it a nickname. Okay, who answered the question of the day last time? Alright, well, everyone who answered the question of the day already had a Pokemon named after them, but I can go through who answered, I suppose. Logan Jack Gaming said question of the Mega Absol because they gave one of my favorite physical sweepers special attack, then magic bounce. Why? Well, I like Magic Balance as an ability, it's really good for Espeon, but I guess for Absol, it's kind of, yeah, you probably could do better. Jolly Mudkip said definitely Mega Glalie. Zulacono said Mega Glalie, the only difference is the jaw and some parts of its head. Demon Flares said Mega Lucario, he was my favorite Pokemon, then BAM. He looks dumb now, looks like he has four arms like Machamp. Well, I actually kind of like Mega Lucario, but then again, it is, I mean, it's just kind of cool how you can use it physical or special. But that's just opinion-wise. So I'm just going to name this Skitty after a random subscriber, September Rivers. Skitty. 
September is going to go to the PC. Alright. I think I'm going to use a rappel again just to make life a little bit easier for myself, and I think I might actually go this way. Okay, there we go. That person I see wants to battle, but I don't feel like battling him. Alright. And we got an ether, and what is... What is that cave right there? Oh, great. Okay, I guess we're battling this person. I guess we're battling this person. Alright, uh... Black Belt Hugh with a tie rogue. That's the best you got? Is that the best you got? Serious, man. Seriously. The best you got is a tie rogue? Well, you did manage to leave that tackle, so... I mean, I'm just using tackle right now because I don't feel like using up all of our serfs. Because I don't feel like going all the way back to Fuchsia City right now. Hitmo on top. Alright, I'll go for a surf on this thing. It's gonna intimidate anyway, so I have no reason to go into a physical attacker. And most likely I'd end up using... Oh! Wow! Okay! Alright, man, that is, that is not cool. That is not cool. When I need to conserve power points, you go for detect. And you live the surf! That really sucks. I'm not gonna lie, that truly sucks. But we are gonna actually use up three surfs and take down that Hitmon top. And then beat Black Belt Hugh. And we have to battle this guy because... Something about eating breakfast or before breakfast doing something, I don't really care. Black Belt Shay? Whatever the heck your name is? You have a Breloom! That has got to be the best thing for Hydro to be battling, isn't it? Definitely, I'm going in Orpal 7. Alright. You're gonna Sky Uppercut. That is gonna hurt. That actually really hurt. I'm gonna go for a Flame Wheel on this thing. Alright, good. That is gonna take that thing down. Alright. Hydro grew to level 57. Purple 7 gained some experience, and Polyrath is gonna come out to play. That's... that's unfortunate. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go into Lara. I'm gonna let Lara do some battle in here. Alright, Polyrath. Okay, let's go for a... Let's dance. Go for that Petal Dance. That's super effective and stab. And it's gonna live. Submission. As long as it doesn't Oko, that should actually take on the Polyrath. No, nah, not quite, but we're gonna get the second pedal dance off, so that will take on the Polyrath. So. Whatever. I expected Submission to do a little bit more than that. Although then again, Laura does have some defense, being a Bell Awesome and all. So, I'm not too, too surprised overall, but it could have been worse. But I figured Submission would take down the. the Recoil would take down the Polyrath, but I seem to have been mistaken. Alright, you have 3 HP left, Rumble 7. I think I'm just gonna leave you with that. Just because it's 3. If it was more than 5, maybe I would. But... This is the Ember Spa. Soaking in the... okay. Alright. We are not gonna go into the... into the... the... there... into the spring because... that would actually heal us up and... that we're not gonna do. Hot springs go hand in hand with volcanoes. The Ember Spa here, well, I made years ago. I hewed the pool right out of the gigantic boulder by hand. I was using this at the time. I suppose I can part with it. So with that, we got HM06, which is Rock Smash, I believe. Have a look at my face. See how smooth my skin is? The hot springs water. It keeps my, young, my younger skin. Okay, whatever. Whatever you say, lady. But what we needed was the Rock Smash, of course, because it's the only way to, I guess, break these rocks. Which, I didn't know there was a cave right here. Maybe Dryano added it? I... Probably? I, I don't, because I don't recall anything like this. Rock Smash is, of course, a really weak move. Who do I have to teach this to? Okay. Who do I not want to... 
Who am I okay with getting rid of a move they currently have? I think that's the bigger question. I mean, I'm okay with getting rid of Tackle, I guess, on Hydro. Hydro did learn Earthquake, which is kind of nice. Um, I don't really want to get rid of any moves. I could get rid of Quick Attack on Rumple 7, but I really don't want to. And there's really no moves in anyone else. I have to get rid of Tackle on Hydro, on Hydro, I guess. I mean, I could get rid of Quick Attack, I suppose, on Rumple 7. Because this way Hydro can go for something that's not Water or, ground, or, or Normal. Because Rumple 7 only has 6 Quick Attacks. Quick Attack does have, in third generation, a better base power than Tackle, but at the same time... Hmm. I think I gotta get rid of Tackle, to be honest. That or Quick Attack, but... One or the other. I think I'm actually gonna get rid of Quick Attack, because there's more Tackles than Quick Attack on Hydro at this very moment. And I could always just teach um, Hydro Strength later. So Quick Attack's a good move and all, but as long as if we can outspeed, then I'm probably better off going for Strength to begin with. And if we can outspeed, well then either hopefully we can live a hit or we're going to be in trouble. So I'm going to get rid of Rock Smash as um, soon as I can. But here we are in Vault Sanctuary. So, there's Raikou. So I can honestly say I am 90% sure that Drayano added this. 90% sure. Not positive, I can't guarantee anything. Actually, I'm... Wait a minute. In the original Firebend and Leaf Green, Entei, Raikou, and Suicune were roaming legendaries depending on which starter you chose. So, yeah, this is definitely Anna by Dryano. I'm 100% sure. That said, let's do this. So here we go against Raikou. It's kind of a shame that they didn't put him... Well, that Dryano didn't make it the the um, legendary beast music. Because I believe in Ruby and Sapphire they put that music in. Which was never actually used for anything in particular. But it was in the game. Okay, you're gonna spark us. That's not gonna do a thing, because we do we do have that immunity. I'm just gonna go with tackle here, because I don't want to take a chance of KOing this thing. I do want to get it like close to the yellow zone. Oh, that thing has pressure, doesn't it? Okay, it's in the yellow zone. Yeah, that thing definitely has pressure. So let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go for a pokeball. Come on, Raikou. Stay in the ball, please. Please stay in the Pokeball, stay in the ball, stay in the ball. There we go! Nice job, Hydro. So with that, we have actually caught Raikou. Pokemon races across the land wall, barking a cry that sounds like crashing thunder. So, I will be naming Raikou after a random subscriber. And that subscriber will be... Globe107. So I'm going to name Raikou Globe. All right, there we go. One, oh, no, not one oh eight, one oh seven. There we go. So Globe one oh seven is going to go to box one. So as it turns out, we found. Raikou and Suicune. I guess next would logically be Entei, but I don't know where Entei is. I mean, I Suicune was on two island. Raikou was on one island. Perhaps Entei's on three island? Either that, or since we're heading to Mount Ember, I think it would be more likely that Entei would just be on island one in Mount Ember. Although so is Moltres, though. And I was trying to avoid this person, and I just battled this person because I'm an idiot. Whatever. Here we go against this swimmer, swimmer Finn. Ah, I get it. Alright, with a Crawdon. 
Mm, that's a little bit less fun. I am going to go into, I think, Bastion? I'm gonna go into Bastion. We can just go for a Mock Punch or whatever we want. You're gonna knock us off. We're gonna resist that. We don't have an item, so it's not gonna do anything to us. Let's Mock Punch. And that should do some damage. Yeah, there we go. Super effective. Stab. Bastion. Goodbye, Crawdont. Alright. So. I put myself into this one, didn't I? The weather is gorgeous, perfect for battle. You know, you know, um, Swimmer Maria, battling isn't everything. Battling is not everything. So don't live under the delusion that it is. Alright, War Turtle. I think I'm actually gonna go into Laura because I don't need Hydro taking an ace, a stab and neutral move. Although that thing is going for a Skull Bash, isn't it? It's gonna raise the fence. We're gonna go for a special hit on the special side anyway. Let's, let's dance. Let's dance. All right, Laura. Go for that pedal dance, and that is going to Oko. All right, nice job. We are slightly over-leveled for this place, but I don't think we're over-leveled for the gym leader. Coming up. Oh dear god. Kingdra. Um. Well, we have a pedal dance up, so we might as well take advantage of it. That is one weird looking sprite. Whatever. It's gonna be neutral. Alright, it's only gonna go for a bubble, which will slow us down most likely, but that's fine. Oh, we don't get the hacks, and we get the three turn without confusion. Nice job, Laura. Nice job. Alright. I really like Bell Awesome. And Laura is definitely proving to be an asset to this team. So. Let's head to Mount Ember. So here we are, Mount Ember. And these people seem to be conspiring about admins and trying to do something or whatnot. Can you imagine if the volcano were to erupt? The explosion would be the end of us! How terrifying is that? Well, we're terrified. Would you like me to teach explosion? No. Alright. Let's go use strength. The strength to move this boulder. I have a feeling we're going to be battling that girl somehow. I thought so. The second we pass, she turns around. You notice that? The second we pass her, she turns around. She has a Pidgeot. That is a little bit on the scary-ish side. I'm gonna go for a Surf on this thing. Surf's up, Pidgeot! And you're gonna live. Because... Because... Because my luck ran out? And she's gonna go for a full restore. I should have expected that. I should have known. I should have known. Let's go for another Surf. Hopefully we can take this thing out without wasting another power point. There we go, alright. So it really made no difference, other than one surf, but predicting it wouldn't have made a difference anyway. Alright, Vile Plume is going to come out. I am going to go into Wurmple 7 to go for, I guess, a Flame Wheel or a Flamethrower, whichever. Probably Flame Wheel, because I'd rather save it for Flamethrowers. Unless I feel like Flame Wheel won't do enough, which it might not, I don't know. But... Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Who knows? I'm pretty sure Bell Offsen's more defensive than Vile Plume, so that should be fine. So we are actually going to take down the Vile Plume. Next up is Venomoth. Venomoth. Let's just stay in. We can just keep this up. We're almost out of Flame Wheels, unfortunately, but on the bright side, at least we're not dead. So. We are going to take down that Venomoth with very little problems, and that we defeated Ranger Beth. Also, another thing I've been thinking about, or should I say, a thing I've been thinking about, and I see a cave right there that I don't recognize. So there's a very real chance that that cave might have something to do with Entei. So, let's battle this person that is inevitably going to sneak up on us, because... This person's not very nice, and like sneaking up on people. 
Get a life, Ranger Logan. And you're leading off with the Vile Plume while you lead off with Hydro. Could this possibly be- could this be any worse of a type of a, um, type matchup? I really can't imagine it getting much worse than that. Let's go back into Rumble 7. I'm just gonna go for a Flame Wheel here and just not take any chances. That thing is gonna put Wurmple 7 to sleep. It is gonna put Wurmple 7 to sleep. So, Wurmple 7 is gonna be asleep for a few turns now, I feel like. And that thing is gonna set up the substitute. That is pretty bad, to be honest. I'd rather just strength at this point. I'm just gonna go for strength. Because now it's probably. What is it? Leech. Oh, dear god. You've gotta be kidding me. Alright, alright. I gotta break that sub. And, yeah. I have to break the sub. Wake up, Wurmple 7. Oh my god! Oh my god! Leech Seed Sub Giga Drain! Oh my goodness, okay. Wurmple 7, you gotta get out of here. Is there any move in this generation that breaks through sub? Oh my god, four turns of sleep! I give up. Wurmple 7, you're fired. I'm not gonna let you die, but on the other hand, I can't leave you in here very well. So, I gotta switch into someone else. Who wants to take a, a Giga Drain? I know you're probably gonna wake up this turn. Yeah, you are. Okay, fine. Fine. Break the sub. I guarantee that breaks the sub. Yeah, the sub is gonna break. And a crit when we break the freaking sub. Oh my god. Okay. All right. All right. All right. If you can outspeed the vial plume, which you seem to have been doing, we should be able to take it out with a uh, single attack. So let's go for a flame wheel. You miss this, I will be so upset. So that should oko the vial plume. So Vile Plume's gonna go down. You're not gonna take any Leech Seed damage this turn because there's no Pokemon out. And I'll switch you out because there's no way in hell I'm gonna leave you out with the Leech Seed up. Executor. Ah, oh, just perfect. Alright, you know what? Nat can go for a Pursuit, and that's pretty much the only chance we have at this point. Watch that Executor protect. Which would in fact be fatal for Wurmple 7 if that were the case. Here, that's not quite gonna KO, but at the same time... ARE YOU KIDDING ME?! Is this a joke?! Alright, wait a minute. You can't be seated, though. Nat you can't be seated. But it can be psychic That's gonna hurt. Oh my god. Nat new wake up! Wake... UP! I don't like Executor. I really don't like Executor. You don't have anything that'll attack Executor. I have to go into Grim. That's gonna hurt, but we are gonna be able to go for a Strength now, which has a chance of taking out that thing. Not enough. Uh Going into Lara. I feel like a leech seed's coming. No! Nope! The full restore! What? What? I'm going for an acid on this thing. Can we get it doesn't get a poison hex, I don't think actually. Can we get the no, no hacks at all. And you land another hypnosis? What the hell? That is three sleep powder slash hypnosises that you land. They have horrible accuracy. How the hell do you land every single one? How? How? I don't get it. How is it possible? How is it possible to land three consecutive hypnosis or sleep powders or whatever? All right, sunny day. Wait a minute, does Laura have chlorophyll? I think she might. If that's the case, that actually could help us out. Yeah, you have chlorophyll. 
So we're actually, she's actually gonna gain speed here, not that it makes a difference. Okay, can we just get a three-hit KO in this thing? Are you kidding me? Okay, finally you miss your hypnosis! Go for another full restore, I quit. Okay, if Laura would have missed that cut, I would have been upset. The crit didn't matter. Laura, you are our savior in this battle. Everyone else has been sleeping on the job. So you know what, Laura? Good job. Everyone else... Wake up. I am very disappointed in half of our team for just falling asleep on the job. Ugh. Alright, better heal everyone up. But seriously, that was... That was insane. And I'm gonna be honest. It was, like, adding insult to injury because I really don't like Executor. So the fact that an Executor was wrecking this team was kind of... worse. I don't mind Vile Plume, but the Executor just was a... just... Executor. I'm not gonna say anything else about it. So... Let's just finish healing up. You're at minus, I think, three or whatever. HP or something. Yeah. Doesn't matter. You're not taking on Entei anyway. And I am fairly positive that Entei is in that little cave right there. So, here we are in the Flame Sanctuary. And there's Entei. Not too surprising. That said, who do we want to lead off with? I mean, you resist the stab, but so do you. But at the same time... Hmm. I mean, strength would do more than tackle. So I think I'm actually going to lead off with Wurmple 7 here. Let's do this. So here we go against the third of the legendary beast, or at least the third one we encounter, Entei. So we're leading off with Wurmple 7, and, alright, let's go for a strength on this thing. It could always stomp on us. I'm just gonna Ember. Alright, we're gonna resist that. I don't think Wurmple 7 can be burned, because we do have that fire typing, which is really kinda nice. Yeah, the stomp is gonna hurt, though. Not that bad, though. Alright, let's go for a Pokeball now. It's in the yellow zone. I'm afraid of a crit. Alright, come on, Entei. Stay in the Pokeball, please. Please, stay in the ball. 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 Yes! So with that, we have caught Entei. And I just thought of something. It's actually a legal encounter, because it's our only encounter for the Flame Sanctuary in our first time here. So if something happens to one of our Pokemon in our team, we can actually use Raikou, Entei, and Suicune. It's actually kind of convenient. So I am going to be naming Entei after a random subscriber. And that subscriber will be... If I can find my subscriber list, because I got out of it before, because I'm stupid. Alright, random subscriber, Tay Clark. So I'm going to be naming this Entei, Tay. Alright. So with that, we have actually caught Raiko, Entei, and Suicune. So we re-enter Mount Ember. Let's break this here rock. Technically speaking, since we technically left Mount Ember, I guess we don't necessarily get a legal encounter here. But what I'm thinking is that I might actually just... I know Moltres is here, so I might count Moltres as our encounter for Mount Ember, since the Flame Sanctuary technically is in Mount Ember. So, I mean, interpret it as you, as you will. But, let's go this way. Alright. Wow, this is one big cave. Alright. 
So here we are back out here. Down that ledge would be where we just were, but up here... We can do this, break that rock, and use strength on this thing, so we can actually get an item up there, whatever it is. Hopefully it's something good. I would really like it to be something good. And with that, we obtained a Firestone. That's, I mean, it's it's not bad. But it's, I mean, it's something we could buy, I suppose. So it's not like it's anything, like, particularly awesome. But it's something useful, I guess. I was hoping to be something more like TM for Flamethrower. But, hey, whatever. So let's go up here. Let's... Go do these strength puzzles because boulders are stuff you have to move, and let's move them. There's an old trace. So, who do we want to lead off with? Rumple 7, I guess, is an option. I mean, I do you want to heal up first? So, I guess Rumple 7, I guess. I mean, you could always switch back into Hydro. So, with that said, let's do this. So here we go again, to Moltres! So, Moltres appeared, we're going into Wurmple 7. Let's do this. Let's go for a strength, I guess. Hopefully we don't crit in Oko, but I don't... Yeah, that's not doing enough. Alright. I don't think a crit would KO at this range. So we're probably okay to go for another strength, but now we're locked in the battle. Although the fire spin is gonna do very little marginally, it's still marginal damage and we can't switch out. So that kind of sucks. That's it's in the yellow zone, so let's go for a Pokeball. Please, please give please let us have some luck here. Give me some luck with this stuff. Give me some luck. Stay in the ball mall trace, please stay in the Pokeball, stay in the Yes! So now we obtain Moltres! Luckily these Pokemon so far aren't being too difficult with me. So, give a nickname to Moltres? Sure. Sure I will. Okay, what's the name Moltres? After a random subscriber, Cenorphus. So Sonorifice is going to go into the PC in a box 2, it looks like. Wow, did we fill up box 1 already? That is... that is kind of insane. Whatever. We still have plenty more to... Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, slow down. Alright. I think there's an item here we can get. Dire hit, that's pretty useless, but hey. It's an item. It's free, so... Let's wait for her to pass us. There we go. Alright. Now let's get out of here. You might return at some point, we'll see. As far as the the rules of a lot of Zolok go, I haven't quite decided if I'm going to be doing the post-game. Now, the thing with the post-game is it's a little bit complicated because it requires... I don't know if it's going to require completing the Pokedex or not, because I know it does technically in the normal games, or in the normal Fire Red and Leaf Green. However, I don't know if Drayana changed that, because we already have the National Pokedex, so things could be different. I really don't know. However, on top of that, we're going to give back all of our power points after being the Pokemon League. Not because I feel like I want to do that, but because I don't have a choice. After entering the Hall of Fame, your Pokemon get healed up. It's kind of standard. So, that said, let's head back to Kanto. Go to Vermilion City. You may at some point return to Two Island to buy some fresh, more fresh water or whatnot. But for now, how are we doing with health? I think we're, we're okay. I'm just gonna heal up totally, just quickly. Alright, let's go to... I guess we're gonna head for the power plant. So let's go this way. 
Also, I'm pretty sure I battled most of these trainers while grinding, so we, we should be good to go. And since we still have cut on our team, we're probably okay to go this way. I do want to get Rock Smash, well, get rid of Rock Smash really soon. So, that is something we're going to eventually want to do, I guess, before taking on the gym. Although, I don't know how much good Wurmple 7 is going to help us with on, well, against Giovanni. But, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. That said, let's go this way. And, of course, that guy's going to turn around right when we're passing by. Right as we pass this guy. I mean, he's not going to be able to do anything to us, because... He has a level 22 Machop, while well, we have a level 57 Wurmple 7. So, you know, I'm just gonna go for a Rock Smash. I'm not gonna waste even our strengths. Rock Smash will take that thing down. No problem. Nose Pass. Rock Smash is super effective on this thing. Horrible type matchup for us, going against a Rock type and all, but we can just one shot that thing. So, hey, Rock Smash is actually useful in this particular case but we still don't need it. I have no need for Rock Smash on Wurmple 7. All right, turn around, dude. Yeah, thank you, all right. So we're gonna have to head to the power plant, won't we? Which I really weirdly found that Dryano must have put a little split in the gate so you can actually access the power plant earlier on, which is Kind of crazy, to be honest, but here's the power plant. So here we are in the power plant. I think we could get an encounter here, but I'd rather just stick with Zapdos, so... I'll make Zapdos our encounter. Use a Max Repel. Got a Max Potion. I'm gonna be a little careful with items, because I don't feel like running into an Electrode. The last thing I need is our encounter to explode on us. And by Electrode, I mean or Voltorb. So I'm gonna miss out on some items here. And I acknowledge that, but I, I can't remember off the top of my head which are items and which are Voltorbs, so I'd rather just not take the chance. So, let's go. So here's Zapdos. Let's lead off with Hydro, just because we will be immune to that Electric Stab. And that's fairly useful. That said, let's go. So here we go against the second of the legendary birds of Kanto, Zapdos. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's. Hmm. I don't think Surf will KO. It is going to drill peck, which is going to kind of hurt. I don't think Surf will KO. I don't think it will. No, it doesn't. Okay, that does. That does a decent amount. Let's go for a Pokeball. Let's try to catch this thing. Okay, Zapdos, please stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Please stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. There we go! So with that, we have obtained Zapdos! Alright. We're having some real luck with these Pokemon today. I, I can't even fathom how much luck we're having. That said, I will be naming the Zapdos after a random subscriber as I have been doing for every other Pokemon. So, I will be naming this Zapdos. After a random subscriber, Island 10K. Island 10K. So Island 10K is going to go to the PC. All right. So here we are out the back of this place. Let's go toward... I guess we're gonna head for Fuchsia. I think that's probably our best option. So, let's go up here. I already battled these people. Alright. Break the, this tree down. So we'll head for Fuchsia so we can get to the Seafoam Islands. Or we can just go toward by way of Pallet Town. 
I, I think either way probably should suffice, but we're kind of closer to the fuchsia side, so... I mean... Actually, I think we're better off going the pa um, by way of Pallet Town. Well, by way of um, Cinnabar, should I say, or... Mm, I, I think it's kind of... It doesn't really make it that big a difference. Maybe it does, I don't know. I think I usually go from Cinnabar, although it's it's kind of... As I said, it's a relatively arbitrary choice. That's it. Going through Diglett's, um, Diglett's uh, cave... Little bit less fun. At least if you don't have a max repel. If you have a max repel, it's not too it's not too too bad. I mean just as simple as just bicycling through. So I mean luckily it's a pretty straightforward place. So let's go up this way. Yeah, there we go. Also, while we're around Pewter City. Why don't we go stop at the museum through the back? Because we can get a little piece of amber. Old amber, to be exact. So, let's break this tree and head in. Alright. There is a beautiful piece of amber in a clear gold color. Shh! Listen, I need to share a secret with someone. I think that this chunk of amber contains Pokemon DNA. Maybe a shattering scientific breakthrough of Pokemon can be resurrected from it. But my colleagues just ignore what I have to say. So I have a favor to ask. I want you to get this exam in a Pokemon lab somewhere. So with that, we obtained the old amber from the man. Shh, get the old amber checked. Oh, right. So with that, let's head towards Cinnabar Island, where that guy wants us to get the old amber checked. And perhaps we'll actually get the old amber checked. We'll see. We will see what happens. Although, actually, I think we need a blank space in our party in order to do that. So, I don't know if I want to do that right this second. Maybe we don't. In the first generation, we don't. But I think we might this generation. So, let's cut down this tree and head toward Viridian City. And then we'll be going toward Pallet Town. And then we will be heading toward the sea. Alright. So let's go see the world. Um, I don't feel like battling everyone here in the water, so let's be a little bit on the careful side. Of course, I'm not using a repel because I'm stupid. So here's a wingle that we can't catch because... I mean, I don't think we need it's level 8, but I do like wingle, I gotta say. I do like Wingle. We battled that person already, so... We didn't battle this person already! But at least now we know. Now, we don't have to rely on my horrible memory. Because now this person will have been battled. So this episode, as you can probably tell, is probably going to be pretty long. Mudshot. Beating us with our own stab. You're gonna slow us down? You're just a crab. We can go for a surf, and that should take you out, because it won't hit you on the physical side. It's stab, and goodbye, Krabby. Plus, it's a higher base power. You're going down. Alright, next up is Crawdon. Perfect. Let's go into Bastion, who can just mock punch. And we should be good to go to just mock punch this thing. We're gonna run a mock punches eventually, but I can't do anything about that. I would like to be able to hold on to our mock punches until for the um, Pokemon League, just for that priority. But at the same time, hmm, what happens happens. So here we are at Cinnabar Island again. Here is the Pokemon Lab. Let's see if we can do this. Also, I think this is the in first generation. There's the, this is the place with the whole Raichu Evolve thing, because there is a uh, when changing the script from the Japanese version, it originally um, they change into trading a Raichu or something, and 
it's a, and the person ended up saying it evolved because originally the Pokemon, I forgot what it was, but it evolved when trading. So let's bring the Dome Fossil back. Alright, so let's hand over the Dome Fossil to this weird scientist guy. Hopefully we don't need to make room in our party, because I can't get it if uh, we do. I might do it after if we do the post game after beating the Pokemon League, pick it up. But I can't deposit anyone in the PC right now because no one has full power points. So it would be kind of unfair. You late! Where were you? Your fossil's back to life. It was Kabuto, I think. So now we received the Kabuto. We don't have to actually put someone in the PC. I will be naming Kabuto after a random subscriber, as I've been doing. So after, um, we'll be naming you after Corbin Boyle Smart. So I'll be naming you Corbin. So Corbin is going to go to the PC. Also, we can bring back to life the Aerodactyl. I mean, the Old Amber. Which will be an Aerodactyl. So, let's hand him the Old Amber, go for a walk, you know, step outside, breathe in the fresh air, and then walk back in really quickly, because either way we're going to be late. Either we're too quick or too late. Either way, that guy isn't happy. That guy is not a nice person. Either that or just impatient, I really don't know. That said, let's check out what the trays are here right now. Gramble for Executor, hell no. Okay. Other possibilities? Don Fan for Mill Tank. We have a Mill Tank. But it's not the worst trade in the world, I suppose. I mean, I could think of better trades, but that's fine. Alright, you want to teach Metronome? Yeah, that's not going to happen. Last thing I need is the Metronome turn into self destruct. Eevee can evolve into one of three kinds of Pokemon. No, it cannot. Eevee can evolve into one of. I think eight Pokemon? Five, right? The set. Oh, five as of um, this generation. Well, third generation, that is. So, yeah, I'll be naming Aerodactyl after. Nigel Petronella. I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name. So, Nigel the Aerodactyl. So, with that we have the fossilized Pokémon that were brought back to life. Which we're not really going to use right now, but there are always options, I guess. The options are out there. So, no, I don't need to look into our trainer card. We want to use a Repel. Yeah, there we go. You know what, I'm actually going to buy more Max Repels while we're here. Because I'm pretty sure they sell them here. And, I mean, we don't need Hyper Potions. We have... Takes a little longer, but we have what we have. So let's buy some of these. Let's buy a bunch of Max Repels. Get us through everything we need to go through. Buy an es Although we actually have five escape ropes, but whatever. An extra escape rope can't hurt. It cannot hurt. So. Let's go surfing. Alright. That person luckily was turned around. That person is... Okay, clearly these people want to battle. I'm not in the mood to battle these people, so let's not. So here we are at the Sea Foam Islands. This is gonna be interesting, all right. So let's go. Now it actually took me a long time to figure out the first time I ever went in the Sea Foam Islands in first generation how to get through this place because it's relatively confusing, to be honest. The current is too fast, we can't use Surf. What the heck? I, I thought we're supposed to be able to use Surf to get through here. You have got to be kidding me. Are you kidding me? We can't go this way? All right, you know what? That is that is that is nonsense. 
Alright, so I guess we're not going to be able to go get Articuno our first time in the Seafoam Islands, but that's only because the game is being stupid. The game is not letting us go somewhere we're supposed to be able to go. And we're battling this person because I am impatient and don't feel like waiting for that person to turn around, so instead I'm going to be battling this person. How nice indeed. So, I am pretty sure this is going to end up being the longest episode ever of the series. And if it is, I'm sorry. Ice punch! That's gonna hurt. It's neutral. Sorry, Mud- uh, Andro, you're gonna- uh, you're gonna be frozen. Hydro are... Oh, great. Awesome indeed! That thing is now at high attack. Let's be frozen solid while that thing body slams. No, Ice Punch, that's special, so Body Slam, so the bo the Belly Drum won't make a difference. Finally, you're gonna defrost, Hydro. Thank you, okay. Alright. So next up is Milotic. How awesome indeed. Let's go into... I don't know. Let's go into Grim. I don't know why, I'm just doing that. I really don't know why I went the Grim of all Pokemon, but that is a kind of weird Milotic sprite. I'm just gonna go for Thunderbolt. I don't need to be stalled out by a Milotic, even if it's only level 44. I'm pretty confident we can take that thing down. So, Articuno apparently is gonna be a little bit more difficult than I anticipated to get to. And if that's the case, that could take a while. Because now we have to we have to go by way of Fuchsia, because for some reason we can't surf in Seafoam Islands, when usually you can surf, but you just get thrown away. But apparently in this game, that's not the case. In this game, they just say, hey, you know what? You, you, you have to go this way, or you can't get to where you want to go, and if that happens, you're screwed. Ha ha! Alright, well... I mean, I'm pretty sure in the original games that was not the case. So... Whatever. And if it's not the if it was the case in the original games, that should have been changed for when Dryano did this. If not, if it wasn't the, the case in the original game, then thanks, Dryano. Thanks. That said, let's head this way. Because we're going to have to go through here and go back all the way through by way of Vermilion, through Saffron, through Celadon, to, to Fuchsia. And then surf all the way around to the Seafoam Islands and watch it not even work from there. If that happens, then I am going to be upset. And by upset, I mean I will be upset. But I can't imagine why we couldn't use Surf. Okay, let's go for another max. Oh, we still have the max repel up. It's gonna, f it's gonna end while, while while we're in the middle of this place. I guarantee. Yeah, there we go. I'd say we're around the middle. So yeah. This is our break from battling gym leaders and whatnot. How awesome indeed. Well, let's go this way. In order to get back to, uh, well, back to Viridian City, we are going to have to actually go back through Vermilion, toward Pewter, through Diglett's Cave, and then down to Viridian. So. We're going to go back to Vermilion anyway. So I'm not too concerned about whether or not we should go to Two Island to buy some more fresh water. But for the time being... First of all, I think we should choose which Pokemon we want from the Celadon Game Corner. Second of all, I think I'm actually going to get a Thunderbolt TM from there. And I might just teach that to Grim, since we're going to be out of Thunderbolts before you know it. So let's just go down here. Now it's going to take forever to go back up this way, but hey. That's... It's all part of the game, isn't it? It's all part of the game. 
So let's go this way and around. Also, while we're here, I think I'll get rid of Rock Smash. Just because I have no need for it. I mean, just while we're here. Unless we end up being able to... No, I don't think we can actually go back by way of um, Pallet Town. Well, well, to get back to Viridian. I think we have to go back this way, the way we're going to go. So that's going to be fun. Alright. So now that has gone, we can go this way. I can't get an encounter here because I've been here before. When I was doing grinding, I accidentally went down here and battled those two uh, swimmers. So we don't get an encounter at this route because I'm stupid. But I just got myself into this battle, didn't I? That was my fault. That's what happens when I go surfing without looking. Surfing without looking leads to battling people with octillaries. And I really do have to heal up Hydro, don't I? Oh dear god. Um... Who, who can take down an Octillery? I know Octillery is going to have, most likely have Fire Blast. And that kind of scares me. Of course, it probably also has Bullet Seed. And Aurora Beam. I should have expected that. Alright, Nat New, you can live that though, right? We are going to live that, so let's Leaf Blade this thing. We're going to run out of Leaf Blades, I can already tell. And that's going to be unfortunate. But... We are going to be able to take on Octillery. So Octillery is down. And with that, next up is Tentacruel. Just what I wanted to see. Stupid Tentacruel. We can Earthquake it, but do I really want to go for an Earthquake on that thing? I'm going to go into Grim. We can use our last Thunderbolt, I guess. Or we could go for Strength. I don't know how much strength is really going to do, but one way to find out. Wow. Okay. Okay, Grim. And Tentacool. We should be able to take down that thing if we were able to take down Tentacruel. Seriously. Alright, that's going to go down. And Huntail. Great. All right. I don't know what to do against that thing. Let's just let's just keep this up. Hopefully, I really don't know. Wow, that did not do nearly as much as I expected. Can we get the para on there? No, no para, no para. Okay, Huntail. Water pulse. That's stab. That's gonna it's gonna hurt. No Confuse Hacks, though, so we are going to take that thing down in three hits. We were able to take out a ton of cool and well, we could take out a hunt tail. What the heck? Grim, what are you doing? Either way, let's heal up, because I don't feel like dealing with our Pokemon not healthy. And can the, can the animations for, for, like, potions and items and all that stuff just not be a thing? It's one of the few things they added new in this game, and it was it's also one of the most annoying things in these games. So, when a remake could be improved by taking away the biggest difference it has from the original, or at least one of the bigger differences, y you know the game isn't quite that great. As far as Pokemon games in general go, general go and as far as remakes, of these, ga of these games also go, I'm not that big a fan of Fire Red and Leaf Green if you haven't figured it out already. These games are kind of, I mean, they're pretty much just the other games, only just remade. Okay, let's push this boulder. Down there. Hopefully we can get out of- actually, we do have an escape rope, so we can get out of this place if the need arises because of, I don't know, not being able to surf. Because not being able to surf is kind of a problem. I'm not gonna lie. That's it, let's put this boulder- we'll push this boulder down there. Adios, boulder. 
And let's go power off. Let's use another one. I am going to catch Articuno. Technically, it's partially legal because, I mean, we couldn't access it before because of technicalities involved in the game not being very uh, up to it, to the level it should be. But that's okay. Let's push this thing down. And let's go this way. There's... I think that should be... I don't know. There's a big pearl here. We can sell that, perhaps. Maybe. Who really knows? And we got a water stone. Well, it's, it's an item. It's something. It's definitely something. Alright, and we're gonna want to push these boulders. So let's push this boulder down here. Luckily, I do know my way around the uh, Seafoam Islands now, now that I'm older, that is. Older than I was when I first played this game in first generation, that is. Alright, now let's go down here. And that should take us right where we want to go. Repel we off just before we get to where we want to go, that is. But then we get right here. Now this is actually one of my favorite legendary Pokemon. I understand in battle it's not very good, it has a lot of horrible weaknesses. But on top of- but the thing is, I really like its design. And that's pretty much why I really like it. That's, I mean, it came back to in first generation when I didn't know anything about competitive use or stats or how stats worked or anything like that. I just picked whatever Pokemon looked cool. And I really like the Articuno. That said, I think I'm going to lead off with Wurmple 7 just because, well, Wurmple 7 is going to be, isn't going to be weak to any of its stab. So let's do this. So here we go against the final of the Kanto Legendary Birds, Articuno. Alright, let's not go for a stab move on this thing, let's go for a strength. Let's not KO it. I think we need to crit the KO it anyway, yeah, that's... Mind Reader! Mind Reader, that thing is gonna take aim. What, are you going for a blizzard? Either way, I don't think this is crit killing range. Okay, no, you're gonna Ice Beam us. We are gonna live that easily. But you do crit. Wow. Okay. Does Mind Reader incre increase the critical hit ratio? I'm not positive. Because that just happened. I thought it increased accuracy, but I could be wrong. Maybe I'm mixing it up with Lock On. I don't know. Articuna, stay in the Pokeball, please. Thank you. I knew I liked you for a reason. Alright, so with that, we have obtained Articuno. So. I will be naming Articuno after a random subscriber, and that subscriber will be Galaxy Knight. So I will be naming you... Galaxy. So, Galaxy is gonna go to the PC, and with that, we've made it through here. So let's go use an escape rope, which I bought because I didn't feel like dealing with this place. This always getting out, that is. So, here we are back... Round 20. Let's not battle her, which she might or may not battle. I don't know off the top of my head, but let's just get out of here. We're going to go by way of Fuchsia City, I suppose, and I was trying to go up, and I couldn't go up because this person stopped me from doing that. All right. As I said before, this is going to be a long episode, and you are not good for us because we have Wurmple 7 out front. How wonderful indeed. Let's go into Lara. I bet you this thing predicts the switch and goes for an Ice Fang. No, it's gonna thrash. That's actually gonna hurt, but not too, too bad. Let's dance. Alright, Lara. Let's take out that Croconaw. Yeah, goodbye. Hopefully the next Pokemon is also a water type, and hopefully it has a bad... Yeah, you know, it... I don't know, this thing might actually live, the Petal Dance. Although it's level 44. 
Let's see, that thing is not gonna live. Okay, Laura, nice job. So with that, we defeated Swimmer Barry. That said, let's actually, you know, reorganize the team a little bit. Because I don't need Rumple 7 up front, especially in the water. So let's heal up everyone. Even Bastion. You deserve those extra two hit points. Even if it's wasting entire fresh water, but fresh water are kind of cheap anyway. So I'm just gonna lead off with Hydra. I know we could have gotten an encounter at Route 20, which I decided not to because, I mean, I didn't feel like it. That said, how are we doing with... I think I'm gonna get rid of some moves on our Pokémon. And by get rid of moves, I mean HMs because we're almost out of them. And since we're here, it's... I'm like, well, who, it's they're really that big of a difference. So we really... we only have like half of our Surfs, so we really have no need for that. Especially if we can't delete it anywhere else. So. Let's also get rid of... what? Grim probably has enough strength. Wurmple 7 is probably almost out of strength. So we really don't need that there. Everyone else I think is actually probably okay with HMs. You have 9 of them, which could be better, I guess. You have all 15. You have 23 out of 30 cuts here. Okay, Laura. I think I'm actually going to get rid of, um... Grimm's. Only because this is going to save us time later. HMs are a little bit of a technicality as far as the rules, because technically... Um, I'm not healing them up, I'm just getting rid of them and teaching them to move again, which... The rules of this particular Lodazul lock, well, not well, not like they're in the Lodazul lock. You're allowed to teach moves more than once, assuming you have a TM. So I'd have to like buy another TM of of um, Thunderbolt in order to get Grim that. However, with HMs, since they never go away, well, that's kind of the way it works. Speaking of which, I think I'm gonna actually buy a Thunderbolt from the game corner. So, let's do that. I do want strengths up front, just so it's the easiest- well, the HMs up front, so they're the easiest move to use. Because they're the ones that are probably the best to be used if when in doubt. Earthquake I'd rather hold on to for right this second, because it's a really good move that I- I know we can get the TM for it from the, gy the next gym. Which is kind of- I don't know. Which do you think is better? Earthquake or Fissure? Because I think the TM that Giovanni gives in first generation is actually Fissure. Which is a one-hit KO move. Problem is... Base 30 accuracy. An accuracy of 30 is total garbage, but it's an, it's an Oko move. So... It does have that going for it. Also, we're gonna probably, when we go through Victory Road, it's gonna be, depending on how we do against the gym leader, it might actually be next time, but it's gonna be a little complicated because we're only gonna go through Victory Road once. I don't want to go through more than once, so I'm gonna try to avoid some battles if I can when it comes to the road through Victory Road. I'll see what happens after the rival battle, if we have enough power points to make it. But I do want to actually go buy a Thunderbolt TM. Just so Grim can have it. We have max coins, which is really kind of cool. But we'll see, because can, we can get Ice Beam, which actually wouldn't be bad for us. Especially with the dragon, um, well, with Lance. There's dragons. It's probably a good option to get. Because I know that, um, well, we could teach that to Hydro. 23 is Iron Tail. I don't need Iron Tail. 
Now, 30 is Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball could be good against Agatha. And 35 is Flamethrower, which would be pretty good for... Uh, it would be pretty good, I guess, for Rumpel 7. But Rumpel 7 has that and has all of them. So I think we're better off just going for... Rather than getting a Pokemon here... Rather than getting picking up a Pokemon, I think I'm actually just going to get a bunch of TM... Well, get two TMs. So, just because... It's just... I feel like that's a safer move. So I'm going to pick up a Thunderbolt... And a Flame... And a... Sorry, an Ice Beam. So we have a... 1,999 coins left. We can get a Clefairy. We don't quite have enough for a Dratini, but we can get a Clefairy, which isn't bad, I guess. I don't know. For now, I think I'm just going to hold on to what we have, and maybe we might come back in the post game and pick something up at that point. We'll, we'll see, because I, I really don't know. But for now, I just want to make sure we have the TMs that we're gonna that we might want for the Pokemon League, because I really want to be prepared for that. We can always go gambling more later, I guess, since we still have a thousand nine hundred and ninety nine coins. So we have almost two thousand coins. So we're probably okay. Also, I do want to go to set to Two Island and buy some more fresh water, just for the sake of getting them. And yeah, I understand this episode's been extremely long, and I apologize. But I really do want to set up for this, because I, I understand that we are going to have to do some last-second setting up, all set up for the Pokemon League. Well, you know, right before we battle the Pokemon League and all. But the way I see it is, you know what, I'm going to buy more fresh water than we could ever possibly use, just so we have them. Because once we get past the Pokemon, once we get to the Pokemon League, which could be next time, we're not going back. So... This is it. This is our preparation. I understand we're just going to the to the last gym right now, but... This is our preparation. Because... I don't feel like having to travel all the way through Victory Road twice. And that's pretty much the explanation. So... Let's go for a Max Repel! Hopefully these are enough to get us through Victory Road just to make life easier for us. Of course, we can get an encounter in Victory Road. But... I'd say we no longer have any need for new encounters, because we have so many Pokémon, it even filled up a PC box. So, that said, let's be on our way toward Viridian City. Let's cut down this here tree. Viridian City is not too far away from right now, or we are now. You see, if we had Fly, this would have been a lot easier. But unfortunately, we don't have anyone who can fly. We have the HM, just no one who can use it. So, that's a slight drawback to our team. I might actually allow us to deposit someone just to get someone who can fly if we ever need to as a... Um, get back, but also I just want to take a look at our Pokemon because I want to see how many Pokemon we have because I haven't been keeping count. We have a lot of Pokemon. We have two deaths, unfortunately, but it's only two. That's kind of insane. So actually, I'm going to put the legendaries here. You're a fossil. Level 40 fossil, so at least... That's actually kind of nice, I guess. So, we we actually we actually have a fair amount of legendaries now. Also, you have a Soothe Bell. I don't think we can move items in... Oh, we can move items here. Let's take that Soothe... You have what? Moo Moo Milk. Ah, that can be convenient. You guys have Black Belts. They never, you never know when these could come in handy. You probably have a Chesto Berry, I really don't care about that. So... You never know when a Pokémon has an item, you can just take off of it. These are level 30, but... You are level 45, you're 38, 47, and 40. These are actually some pretty strong Pokémon. Also, at some point we made into patching this egg. At some point. So I'm just gonna move that here. 
Also, the most likely Pokemon for us to at some point end up using, I'm gonna say, are- I'm gonna move into this box as well. Just because they seem like the Pokemon that would be the strongest for us to use. Also, Leah is a possibility only because of that high defense, so especially it's not really a great option. Dexter could be any kind of evolution, which is kind of useful, and... LAGG is, um, level 40. Not only in Hitmonchan, I think I'll, I probably don't need to use, but... Chimeco, I guess, is a possibility. 47 is a pretty high level. Wouldn't have to do as much grinding. Obviously, grinding is would, would be a possibility with anyone. I mean, I could pick someone that's not in this box. But this way, at least we have these Pokemon set up, so at least... We have less of a decision to make. Hypno I could use, but I don't really want to. So. Level 43 Skitty isn't too bad, but at the same time, you're level 45, but you're a cast form. So, alright. Oh, so all these starters we have, let's put here. Alright. You know what, I'll put you in the place of a Cyndaquil. Alright. Why am I doing this? I really don't know. Porygon's only level 30, though. So, you know what? Let's stick with this for now, I guess. I mean, there are other Pokémon that we could possibly use, but for now, let's stick with these as the uh, most likely to use. They're just being organized. So we have all the legendary Pokemon now, which is kind of crazy. But, and they're level 50, so they're the most likely ones we'd end up using. Although technically Articuno and Moltres, I don't know if we're technically allowed to because they weren't our first times in those places. Besides, I'd probably pick one of these three anyway if that were the case. But, we have that egg, which we could always hatch. They're going to be probably either a Wynon or a Togepi. My guess would be Togepi, just because. I mean... Tokopi just seems more likely, but I really don't know. That said, this is, as I said, this has been the longest episode, I'm pretty sure, of this series. I can almost guarantee that. But next time, we're going to be taking on the Viridian City Gym Leader Giovanni, who has returned, and then possibly heading through Victory Road. So... Thank you for watching, as always, like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to answer the question of the day, which will be... What is your favorite game corner in Pokemon? What is your favorite game corner? The one in Celadon, the one in Goldenrod, the one in Veilstone, the one in Mauville? Which is your favorite? My favorite is actually the Mauville City one, so I really felt bad that I really didn't like how they got rid of it in Oras. But I really like that roulette table. I just I, I really like that, and I felt and I was kind of looking forward to that when Oras would come out, and then they got rid of it. Luckily, they did give us those Mudkip Torchic and Trico dolls for free, so at least got that going for us. But I still do miss that roulette table, rather than the slot machines. So, remember to, in, in the comments below to answer the question of the day, and there's a good chance a Pokemon that we might catch sometime in the future will be named after you. Just keep in mind, we still have a bunch of legendaries to go, probably in the post-game, and we have Victory Road to go through. So, thank you for watching, as always, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.